In this video, I'm going to share with you the best defense for defending the U Trips offense in Madden 22. What's going on, guys? My name is Cody, and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If this is your first time visiting a video from my channel, I want to encourage you to click that subscribe button. It's completely free. You can click that down below, and it's completely free to subscribe to the channel. You can always unsubscribe at a later date if you don't enjoy the content, and I'd encourage you if you don't enjoy my content to go ahead and do that. That way, you don't have to deal with all the videos that I release on a daily basis. Now that being said, I want to jump into this breakdown on the U Trips offense, um, in, in terms of how we can slow or defend this meta offense. This offense, I will tell you this, is growing in popularity. A lot of people are realizing that the spread aspect of the U Trips is really, really, really hard to defend in a year where the user is brutal. It's brutally hard to defend both sides of a formation in a box over the middle and so i wanted to give you a tool that i think will help against u trips it's actually probably a little bit different defense than you've ever played before in your life um, this is going to go back to i think madden 18 or 17 where this was actually fairly effective and we're going to show you how to make it effective in madden 22 so that being said let's dive into the video if you want to get my full four six defensive guide which gives you like over an hour tutorial on how to stop U trips alone as well as all of the other meta offenses we show you how to shut down bunch bunch tight end tight offset trips tight end gun spread U trips the run game red zone defense we show you insane pressure this year from 335 wide so if you want to get access to all of that content it is all available in my 46 defensive guide that is on sale right now for just $15. So if you haven't picked up any of my guides before, we've been having great reviews on this. A lot of people have been having a lot of success with this defense. So I would encourage you, if you've not picked it up yet, it's on sale for $15. And there's a link in the description if you would like to get it. Okay, so now let's talk about how to defend U-Trips. U-Trips is a mind scratcher. I will tell you that. It's hard. When you actually think about everything that the formation can do it really is hard to craft defense for you trips this year it just is it's really difficult so we're going to give it our best shot in this video so that being said make sure to subscribe if you want to get the full defense it's in the description here is my uh, adjustments all we're going to do for you trips is put our curl flats on five okay the reason why we're going to do that is because we want our cloud flats to play on default and we want our yellow zones to play on default but we don't necessarily want our zones to match okay uh, we don't want to do that and the reason why is because we're going to be using some match coverage and some things as zone drop defense so anyways let's just dive into it u trips y off trips pats whatever you want to call it this offense is really good. It really is. It, it's good. It's a great offense this year. It's probably for me, when I sit down and actually think about how I'm going to stop something, this one's the one that's been the hardest for me to stop in terms of, like, bunch. I got a pretty good idea. Part of that's because we see it so much. Compression, I've got a good idea. Spread, I've got a good idea. This one right here is so hard. Um, but anyways, we're going to come out of Y option wheel and break down this defense now for this defense we're in the 46 playbook we've got safeties in at linebacker you see i've subbed them all in really important please notice that i have the safety nickelback package selected i have the safety nickelback package selected the reason why is because we are going to leverage that against u trips okay now, really important for you trips. This is interesting. I think I just think it's really interesting how we're going to do this. But what we want to do is we actually want to um, we actually want to go ahead and I I hesitate to suggest this, but we really don't want to come out in cover two, even though we're going to be running cover two. The reason why is because the motions from you trips can really mess up a lot of the things that we can do. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to come out in a cover three, and we're going to in essence turn that into. A cover two defense all right so here we go u trips defense we're going to the play i'm going to flip this so the trips are to the wide side of the field so we're going to flip our defense as well but we're going to go down into the play mike blitz three so you see it's a cover three the what the reason we're doing this is because the linebackers are blitzing which means they're not going to move right with based off motion if you watch 
If I put my linebackers all in zone, when I'm motion, they don't move. That's what we want. Um, if I go to this, watch. You see that linebacker move? That's a tell. We don't want that. Um, so that being said, Mike Blitz 3. Please come out in Mike Blitz 3. Really important. Okay? All right. So let's move to the next piece of this. What we're going to do is we are going to um, – basically we're going to manually wiggle. <laughs> uh, we're going to manually wiggle this guy. Okay? And the reason why is because we don't want him to move. Okay, we want to keep him kind of right here uh, for several different reasons. And all we're going to do is we're going to put both of our safeties on outside thirds to their corresponding side. So, for example, this guy's on outside third to the right. This guy's on outside third to the left. Then what we're going to do is we're going to put both of our outside corners into cloud flats. This is really, I think, the most important piece because you see that we've basically got stock Mabel coverage to the left side, okay? Then from there, what we're going to do is our user is actually going to be this guy, but it's, re it's ridiculously important to understand that you have to go up the vertical seam. If there is something over the middle of the field you have to go get that. You have to. Otherwise, you're going to get killed in this coverage. Okay? What I mean by that is if there's something to the tight end and he goes vertical, go with him. Okay? It's really the only – there's it's that route and one other route that are really concerning out of U-trips, but you have to be aware of that. Now, a way around this would be once I move this guy to base align, and then I could take my outside slot – and put him in a middle third that isn't a way around it okay so you see here we basically get the same coverage and now all we have to do is put both linebackers in uh cross man assignments so i like to cross man the linebackers so we're going to cross man the left side of the screen uh, what we're going to do is we're going to put this left side linebacker because remember our cloud flats are on default so we're going to cross man him onto square and then we're going to take the other linebacker and cross man him onto the slot. So if there's any crossing routes, these like this curl flat post is a good example. Watch this cross man linebacker just take that route to the sideline. So there, I can't throw that. There's no opening. There's no opening for that. That's why I like to do that. So let me go through this one more time because it's a little bit, like I said, it's a little bit complicated for you trips in my opinion. Obviously, there's some simpler, simple, more simplified ways, and we did give some of those in our ebook. We also gave we gave kind of advanced and beginner setups for you trips because you trips is freaking hard, man. It just is. It's hard to stop this formation. Um, but anyway, this is my best shot. So Mike Blitz three, put both guys in outside on the cloud. And then when you cross man, what, what, the other thing is really good, you don't have to worry about anything other than the tight end when you cross man because you don't have to worry about any of those post routes from the slots. So you don't necessarily have to put this guy in an inside third. You don't have to. You, you can, and it's safer to do that. But it's also better underneath coverage to not do that. Now, you do have to watch the running back as a user. Um, if the running back goes on a wheel route, like a seam wheel, like Y option wheel, then yes, you need to watch this. But the biggest thing you need to watch is for something like Pat's slot out. Now, we'll notice this. If we motion this guy and we don't move that corner, it's not the end of the world. We're going to the end of the world. We're going to be fine because we have cross man coverage on all this stuff. And as you see, that the thirds will do a really good job of playing it. So you don't have to manually move them if you don't want to. But I find that, number one, I find two things. I find that manually moving him is a little bit more, just like, it's obvious to them that we're doing something, right? The other thing that, I, the other reason why I like to move him is because I also like to move this guy. So when I base align, I'm just going to kind of wiggle this guy just a little bit and then unbase align. Just like that. Now, look at this coverage that I've created. Right? Now I've created... Whoops, and I messed up. Uh, but now I've created all of this. Okay? And then we come back into this base alignment. You see how the safety comes down. Robs. It's very... You know, they could, we could do some pressure concepts out of this. I love these cross mans. Um, and I'm going to show you why when we go to the play. Um, I think we're in the play. Y option wheel. And let me show you... 
Let me see. I can show you from tight end whip. So I'm just going to put tight end whip. This is a very good concept. Um, and of course, I got a penalty because I messed my audibles up. But let me show you one more thing and then we'll get out of here. Um, so let me just get Y option. Tight end deep out is fine. We can just use that. That's fine. So Mike Blitz 3, two clouds, cross man the linebackers. If you don't get anything out of the, else out of this video, get that and then just put the safeties in thirds. That's it. And you're set. Now, if you want a little bit safer coverage, put the middle linebacker or the put the left, middle linebacker. You can do a couple things. You could you could use her. I don't like to use her the middle linebacker. Like I like to be able to use her one of these guys. Um, or I'm sorry, not the middle linebacker, but this outside linebacker, because I, I can't send pressure. There's no pressure threat if I do that. So by doing this, now I put myself in a situation where I at least have a pressure threat, and then I can use her in the middle field. But anyways, watch this play, tight end, deep out. Watch the route to square. See how he's cross man? The guy goes right with him, and he puts himself in a position to take that away. That is why I love this defense. That is the reason why... We can absolutely play very aggressive underneath because we don't have to worry too much about them because they're manned up. We've got a cloud flat that will delay them, and then they're getting cross man, which will take away crossers, posts, all that stuff. So this is my favorite way to defend U-trips right now. We've got a more detailed version of how you can defend this in the defensive guide, but this is just something that you can kind of tinker with. I think this has a lot of potential. Please mess around a little bit with cross manning this year, especially if you're running 3-3. This is a number, another reason why 3-3-5 normal into 3-3-5 wide is so important because you get safeties at linebacker and safeties can man coverage much better than backers can. So that being said, that's my big pitch. Thanks for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you want to get the defensive guide, go ahead and pick it up. There is a link in the description of this video. You can get that defense for just 15 bucks.